of course, over time, uh, interest rates are going to fluctuate. Yeah. But but as of today, on the rec on the recording of this show, about what are the interest rates hanging around when someone borrows using their policy as collateral? Yeah, when they borrow, it's typically five percent simple interest. So if you took out a loan, paid it off in four four years it would be about 1.9% APR, 1.9% compound interest that you paid to the insurance company. And then while that's happening, typically you're earning four to 6% in your policy over time. So that's how you can kind of have an arbitrage, a split between um, how much you paid in interest and how much you earn. So it's very common for somebody, for example, to in one year have earned, you know, um, took out a policy loan, paid it back, in that time, in that one year, they earned like $10,000, for example, in interest and dividends, depending on how much cash value they have. And they've paid like $5,000 in interest um, to the insurance company. So there was, a, there was an arbitrage. There was a split between how much they borrowed and earned and how much they paid back to the insurance company. So really, when you connect this with real estate, you, you have a double compounding effect on your money. Like in this case with, with this client, she's going to make money in her whole life policy through the, the interest and dividends. And she's going to make money with the private money lender, with the real estate investor who's, who's borrowing her money. She, she has two sources of growth in her policy. That's amazing. So from your experience, Sari, mm -hmm. um, in working with people, What's your overall advice um, or opinion? And that is, is it best to uh, invest in your business? Is it better to save cash? Mm -hmm. uh, which way to go and why? Definitely. And I think that both of them have their reasons, right? It's important to have cash for emergencies and to, to kind of grow your, your wealth over time, your actual cash. Um, and at the same time, there's downsides to that, right? It's like, when you have money sitting in a bank account, it loses opportunity costs you could have earned had you invested that money somewhere else. You lose it to inflation. And you never, I think as an entrepreneur and as a, as a business owner, you never want cash just sitting around because you're probably just going to spend it. So I think that investing is really important. But really, that's another advantage of infinite banking is that you have the opportunity to do both. You could um, fund the save cash. And then anytime you need to access that cash, you borrow against it. And I'm, and I'm seeing these weird, these words clearly, Jay, that you want to borrow against it. So that way you kind of, um, you're not interrupting the growth of your money. So for example, if your goal is to save for the next 20 years, um, and you're accessing that money in the middle of those 20 years, it's not going to interrupt your overall goal. You're borrowing against it. You're leveraging that asset and you're, and, and you're, uh, you have the ability to keep growing that asset, that, that cash asset while still being able to invest in your business and other areas.